Well, hello there, everybody. My name's Mikey, and today we're going to be drawing a quick, simple, and easy picture of Luffy, Monkey D. Luffy, the pirate from One Piece. Now, there are no uploads on my channel over the weekend, so many thanks for your patience and bearing with. We'll talk about that more in Wednesday's Draw with Mikey episode, don't you worry. So let's crack on and get yourself some paper and a pencil. And the way we're going to start off with uh, Luffy is by firstly drawing a nice, nicely sized circle straight into the middle of the page. Now I'm using lots of small lines to get my circle fairly circular and hopefully that's coming up nice and clear on the camera phone up there for you. Now just bring it round like so and this is going to be the top section of Luffy's face. We can always drop a line down the middle so we know where the center line of the face is and now with this circle measure about halfway down and then this distance here halfway we're going to double so that's why i've stopped my line around about here it's going to be the height of this circle again so now we've got three sections one two three and that's going to be our guiding areas come down off the side of the circle and bring a line that gently comes in towards the center as it makes its way down and then once you're about halfway down to this point here, bring that line in so it connects to create the bottom of the jawline. Curve it up here, curve it up here, like so. That's how we build up Monkey's face, or Monkey D. Luffy's face, I should say. Now this is really useful because it means that the halfway point to the circle and this zone here is where we're going to be fitting in the eyes and this area underneath is where we're going to be fitting in the mouth. So if we go straight over to the eyes, with Luffy, you need to keep them fairly far apart. So if we imagine an eye that's going to take up around about this space, draw in a complete circle here perhaps, and then make sure that this distance is quite healthy, and we're going to go all the way over again to about here, so it's equidistant, and draw in this circle here. You'll notice that the bottom curve of this guideline circle is a useful curving point as well of the circle of the eyes. Let's have a check through the camera phone. Make sure everything is in focus. Lovely. And then here as well, we're going to use this center level for the eyes and also maybe just below um, this lower level of the circle here. They're going to be where we're going to fit in Luffy's ears. Something like that on this side. and. Similarly, something like that on this side. He has fairly big ears for an anime character that stick out, this character does, so that's good. And then inside the middle, we're going to go just to the left of the center line, and just above where this circle cuts through the middle, we're going to just pop in a nose. Now we're going to do this by bringing a line out to the side, and then we're going to bring that line up as if it's about to go towards the center line. And once it gets just above the middle line of the eyes, as it makes its way here, we get to just Go straight out and across like so. So you're going to go from a point here and take it so it just touches the top circle <clears throat> and goes up to the halfway point. Excuse me. <clears throat> Disgusting. So on this side as well, if you imagine a point about here, just where this line is, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go up and across the top of that circle. And these are Luffy's eyebrows. They're just very simple lines. Now we're going to put um, a nice big circle for the pupil here. Normally it would just be a small black dot right in the middle. That's where we're going to have his eyes completely in. And then with the ears here as well, we're going to draw a lobe around about here and a very simple line that comes up and then around and back in like so. And then another zone around here, which will just be the bottom of the ear. It's not a realistic uh, inside of ear shape, but just something enough to indicate that there's all sorts of shapes going on. That's all we need to worry about there. Now. We've got this entire bottom zone then to make up with Luffy's mouth. We're not going to make it go any further than the outside edge of the eyes. Following the same angle of this line, I'm going to come down here and then probably should make this line curve in a bit more. But with the same angle, I'm going to come in around about here and I'm going to fit a really big smile, a really big grin right in that bottom zone. Luffy is a very expressive character, so I'm going to make sure it just touches the bottom side of that circle there 
and then comes down and again in a similar way just curves a nice gentle almost a semicircle curve coming round and up and back like this so that's how we work out where we're going to fit it in now we can pop a line about halfway down also curving slightly it's going to be the middle zone of the teeth and you get to kind of just draw in these little mountainy bumps just hidden under the top and this just shows the gum line for where all the teeth are and then you can kind of almost just get away with a little bit there now we're just going to put in maybe a line around about here for some teeth and then maybe one here and one here as well because we don't need to highlight every single bit of his smile of the teeth so if we go down from the bottom of the neck we're going to go from the center line of the eye again right down to where it meets here center line right down to where it meets here and then the neck drops off fairly wide like so quite a strong neck this character and if we take this overall height the uh, entire height of the circle or at least this two-thirds of the face we get to pick roughly that distance again and this is going to be just below the collarbone area in the chest so if we keep a center line going on i know that around about two-thirds of a distance down is where everything's going to meet up so i get to bring in a bit of a v line here that indicates where the muscles of the neck are there's going to be all sorts of shadow around about here where his chin is sticking out so we'll come back to that and then above this line so around about here are where we're going to have the shoulders drop down so for this part remember that if this whole head circle was right here and there were two of them next to each other we're going to make luffy about two heads wide that's how we decide how wide the body is so it's going to be round about here to around about here so if i come straight down we're going to drop off from the shoulders here and then come straight down and we're going to drop off from the shoulders here and come straight down again that's how we roughly proportion and map out the width of his body so on this side he's got his kind of red top that he always seems to wear it's usually a bit of a mess so i'm just going to come in around about here where this collarbone line is and i'm just going to create a shape like this a kind of zone that's just going to be an unbuttoned up shirt curving round so if you just follow this shape something like that and because the shirt's made out of material it can kind of be any shape you want catching the wind flapping around i'm just doing a couple of shapes off of here to show where it's all wrapped up over the shoulders because the material can always change the face you need to get the proportions right the clothes can be all sorts of clothes and what's really good in one piece is they often uh, change the clothes that they're wearing from story arc to story arc so i'm just putting loads of lines in there we can map off the sleeve a little bit here by putting another arc that meets at a point but overall don't overwork it with a one piece character we're going to stick a button there a nice big one and then I'll let these lines come around here to be more folds of the material. One last bump, and then it will go off like that again. Maybe a line up there. Now here, where we've got this point where these two bits come together, we're just going to have some lines which are the collarbones that go along like that. And that means we can put a chest line in the middle there. And do remember that Luffy's got this uh, jagged X scar. So I'm just going to put an X shape on here that's going to drop off the bottom of the page in this instance. So I don't need to worry too much, like so. And then now I get to just be really rough with that line and just use it as a really rough guide for a scarring shape. By putting in a rough X shape first, it really helps me map out where the scar is going to be whilst keeping it all in the same direction, like so. Now, up to the top part, remember, we're only going to draw in the top of Luffy's eyes here and the top here. And also, we just draw in a line to be the bottom, around about here and around about here. He's also got a scar halfway down this gap here. So if you just follow and pop a line in there and then notch it once and then twice. And then we get to worry about the whole hat and hairline situation. Still clear? Good. So he looks like a maniac bald at the moment, but what we're going to do is we're going to pop his hat on and then we're going to worry about his hair. So Luffy's hat is actually uh, really big 
And we're going to do that by putting another circle around the current one we've got. So I'm going to fit in a nice generous circle around about here. I'm not going to complete it all the way down at the bottom. But the reason why I'm putting in such a large shape is because it means that we're going to definitely cover this hat zone like so. And if we did complete it all the way, it would kind of just cut through the eyes and go through the middle. That's going to be the top back of the hat. We're probably going to work a little bit smaller than this shape, but at least we've got the guideline in. And then it might help to turn your paper sideways like I'm doing. And we're going to just map out where this bowler hat or his um, straw hat, I should say, straw hat Luffy is going to be. Now, we're going to go very close to the top of the head around about here and create an elliptical shape. It's going to kind of come around here. Come around here, let the curve of your hands naturally do most of the work for you. Like so. And then if we turn it the other way, it's going to go right in just below the jawline here. So it's going to curve all the way around out like so. And all the way around out here like this to get it to meet up. So if we just curve off this edge and here it's a bit pointy, so I'm going to curve off this edge a little bit sooner like that and then I'm going to draw the brim of the hat here so a parallel line follows this one just a bit further down give it some thickness and then disappears off and then I'm going to do another line here which is the ribbon that's around his hat so I'm going to start right in these corners that meet up and I'm going to bring this all the way around to the top height of his head all the way back down there as well now I'm going to take this circular shape and I'm just going to neaten up the edges. It's not quite a bulb like um, Trafalgar Law. So this is going to come up like so and then curve in. And same here, it's going to be up and then curve in. Now we're going to draw in lots of dotted lines like so, but are going to fill up the straw hat and make the texture there. And we're also going to do lots of lines like so but again I follow the natural curve of the hat to make a texture that comes in here and we'll be doing that when we ink it however we still need to now just pop in monkey's hair so this is more of just a pattern or a shape you have to get used to and you zigzag the hair in accordingly now I'm going to come right up from inside of here just outside the head I'm just going to create a little spike of hair that comes off about here do your best to copy this as closely as you can. And there's going to be three spikes down behind the ear. So one here, one here, and also one there. And then if we go just behind this, three little upside down mountains. Jagged peak, jagged peak, jagged peak, just disappearing around the back. And then on this side as well, it's got a very similar three spike shape. So if we come off to about here, and again, one spike about there. Another spike right here, and then another one there just behind the ear. And then when it comes in down about this side again, another little jagged shape going down. So then we just need to do the hair at the front. It's going to drop all the way down to the eye level um, and go all the way up to the hat level. So I'm going to start off by getting a bit of the uh, side in just here, the side burn. And then we just come up and follow this kind of zaggedy shape. One here, come up nice and tall, all the way almost to the top, and then back, and then nice and tall again, a little bit higher at peaks, and then back down. This time I'm going to go all the way up beyond the hat, and then on this side, coming back down after a little bit of a gap, it's going to come right down past to the middle point here, up back here as a peak. And then down again to the brow line, right back up a thick one here, and then back down again. And it starts to copy the same shape we've had on the other side, comes down again here, and then pops back up to be a bit of the sideburn. And so there, if you imagine all this area, we're going to be colouring in black. It means we've got all of the hair in. We've got his crazy grinning expression. He's a bit of a wild man. And we're going to pop in the texture lines for the hat so let's have a quick check through the camera phone 
Lovely, there you have it. A nice, quick, simple, easy picture of Monkey D. Luffy for you guys to have a go at home. If you are having a go, um, like my Facebook page. You can submit your artwork on there, and if it's pretty good, we'll show it off. I love seeing what you guys are getting done. Do quick like and subscribe, or click it, I should say. But we're going to drop into some time lapse from some inking, and I'll see you right at the end. <laughs> And there you have it guys, a nice, quick, simple, easy version of Monkey D. Luffy. Now I have used a Uniball um, I Fine kind of pen, basically one of those gel rollable pens to do most of the work here. I've added in some shading zones there and filled it in with a 0.5 Unipin Fine Liner pen. But basically, don't be scared to use whatever you guys have got lying around at home. Don't wait for good materials, just draw if you enjoy drawing. Hope you found it useful. Click like, click subscribe. Let me know in the comments what other characters you'd like drawing tutorials for. And as ever, stay in touch with the channel because we've got loads going on. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. So, hey, thanks for watching. Click subscribe and put your suggestions in the comments below. See you next time.